when should you PCT? Always, anytime you do an anabolic steroid cycle or even what people call a TRT dosage, you need to post cycle therapy after this. <laughs> What's up guys, Dom here back again from the Liso Fit and we're here talking about how to PCT post cycle therapy properly. Let's dive right into it. But guys, like I always say before I start every video, please like, share, subscribe. The goal is 10,000 subscribers, costs you no money, helps me pump out more content and it means the world to me. So please subscribe down below, it doesn't cost you a dime. PCT, post psychotherapy, what is it, when should we do it, and how do we do it? So first things first, when should you PCT? Always, anytime you do an anabolic steroid cycle, or even what people call a TRT dosage, you need to post psychotherapy after this. And why do we need to do this? The reason for it is every steroid Every anabolic steroid is suppressive to your natural testosterone levels. Even something like Primabolin, which has very low side effects, or Anabar, which a lot of guys do when they're first starting out, suppresses your testosterone levels. So to make that make sense to you guys, if you are here naturally, when you take anabolic steroids, you might be here, right? But what happens is, your natural testosterone levels, it's like a switch. It's like, all right, let's shut it off because we're getting exogenous testosterone from another source. Even if it's Anavar, Winstrol, whatever, your body shuts off your natural test levels. So when the compound is no longer in your system because you're not taking it, because everybody comes off eventually, you don't go back to being here. You're actually over here. You need your post-cycle therapy to bring those testosterone levels back up to normal and back up to baseline so that you hold on to your gains, keep your gains, and you stay healthier. Now you're gonna need three different compounds for your post-cycle therapy. That is HCG, which is the king, which you should always use no matter what, Novadex and Clomid. Now, a lot of people, and you're gonna see a lot of stuff on the internet, and even doctors, I find they say, take HCG while you're on cycle. Now, I am not a big believer of this. Reason for it, and I subscribe to the old school Rich Piana method, when you're taking testosterone, it's telling you to shut your testosterone, your natural testosterone levels off. That's any anabolic steroid. Turn the natural production off. When you're taking HCG, it's telling your body to turn the natural testosterone production on again. So when you're taking testosterone and HCG at the same time, your body's getting mixed signals, turn off, turn on, turn off, turn on. I just, it just doesn't make sense logically to me. So I'm a big believer when you're on cycle, turn the test cycle, the testosterone levels off. When you're post cycle therapy, turn those things on, take the HCG. And when should we take it? Now it really depends on what compounds you used. If you used a short ester, like a propionate or an acetate, then you should start your HCG two days after your last injection. But if you used an enanthate or a cypionate, I would suggest using it 10 days after your last injection. Reason for this, when it's a short ester like a propionate or an acetate, it's gonna be out of your system in a couple days, realistically, it's a 48 hour half-life. So within four days, it's completely out of your system. You still want a little bit in your system, but nothing too crazy. With an anente or a cypionate, 14 days later is typically when you're going to see the testosterone leave your body. So at the 10 day mark, when it's pretty much all out there, that's when I would start using the HCG. HCG gonna turn the light bulbs on once again. How I suggest you take this is for 10 days straight, I would use 500 IUs a day of HCG. Then after that 10 days, what you should be doing is you take 
a thousand IU of ACG once a week for the next four weeks. This will bring those testosterone levels back to bay for the most part. You're never going to be completely back to normal, but it's going to help drastically. Then we have compound number two, and that is Clomid. What Clomid does is it stimulates the luteinizing hormone in your body to facilitate the testosterone levels to start all over again. Now with this very simple, uh, very simple 50 milligrams a day, which is typically depends on the dosage, but when I buy Clomid, one pill is 50 milligrams. Now you wanna be very weary with Clomid because I have found that it causes depression. Now, I've only noticed it when I was using 100 milligrams a day of Clomid and I stopped that. 50 milligrams, use that for about 50 to 60 days, should work in that sense. And lastly, we have Novodex. Novodex, what it's going to do, it's going to keep your estrogen levels at bay. Make sure you get no gynecomastia later on because the body likes to go into homeostasis. Novodex is going to make sure that estrogen works well in the system. 40, well, for the first two weeks, I would suggest taking 40 milligrams a day. And then for the next six weeks after that, I would only use 20 milligrams. Really make sure those side effects, keep them low, keep them down. Both Clomid and Novodex, you're going to be taking 14 days after your last injection if you're using an anenthate or a cipionate, and four days after your last injection if you are using a propionate or an acetate. If you are only using orals, which I don't suggest, always use testosterone with every cycle, test as a king, test as a base of every cycle. After one day of the pills, you start your HCG, Clomid, and Olodex. And that's post-cycle therapy, guys. Please like, share, subscribe. Stay safe out there. And until next time, I am out of here. Ciao.